Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A while ago I really did a lot of work on my compressed air aero shooter. That's legally a toy in Germany. As the arrow glides over the barrel, it is not pushed through a barrel. And uh, the principle works really good. I mean here is the compressed air channel chamber. Here is the ball valve and it's rubber operated. So the rubber will kick it open. And I attached a very simple trigger system for that. I got it to 916 joules and now I have to stop hunting for records because it's getting too cold and this means that the rubber and the compressed air is no longer performing uh, at top notch. So I continue to do this in the summer next year. But that doesn't mean that we stop maxing out things here at the Slingshot channel. My idea is to make this just much bigger, use much bigger valves and use much bigger arrows of course, just everything much bigger. And of course then it would have to be shoulder mounted because then it's no longer just a rifle. So I sat down and did some work and here is what I came up with. Meet the Air Zooka. <laughs> Let me show you its features. As you see everything is really big. These are two inch ball valves, like the biggest I could find. Uh, steel compression chamber and uh, the ball valves actually when the, you put them under like a hundred bars of pressure are really really hard to open. I had to make the lever of the uh, main one here really really long so that it is possible with an acceptable amount of rubber to open it quickly enough because with this short handle it's almost impossible to do that. So this means that here you have the handle and if I press the trigger then the valve can be opened until it hits the stopper here and then the shot falls. Here you have to attach the rubber, do this shortly before you shoot to not lose too much power from the hysteresis effect. Um, this is the handle and uh, this is the arrow. Put this off for you. It's still well, an experimental arrow fairly huge in diameter and there's a test tip with a really really blunt limit here and um, it weighs about a kilo and a half. It's a massive aluminum tube with a 65 millimeter outer diameter and I added this wooden ring here so that it doesn't dent so easily because then it will no longer fit over the barrel. Let's go for a test shot. <laughs> the thing is super heavy. It weighs about 15 kilograms and it's not so easy to get it ready to, for the shot. Okay. Distance is about 5 meters. Take careful aim and... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Interesting, even the blunt side of the massive aluminum tube penetrated the archery mat eh, quite a bit actually. <laughs> Pure destruction. It works really good. Can it be optimized? Sure. First of all, I have to find a way how to attach veins to the arrow so that we can do some distance test shots. Also, I'm not sure if I can be happy with the speed of the valve. It opens in about a tenth of a second, but you can clearly see in the slow motion that it is still opening while the arrow has already left the barrel. So this needs to be quickened, probably with, with more rubber. Other than that, it's bulky and ugly, but I love it, every bit of it. And I hope you do too, because that's it for actually three weeks since I'm on another project. Enjoy the older videos too. Thanks and bye bye.